Major projects in the work, including a new sports complex and the Island Park Pool. Valley News Team's Nishe Taylor explains what this means for you as a taxpayer. We've got a couple of large uh, capital campaigns that are going on right now. The Fargo Parks District has their focus on two major projects slated for completion over the next couple of years. This is a time lapse of one of those projects, the Fargo Parks Sports Complex. It's going along well and, and it's progressing well. The new facility is expected to include several amenities such as basketball courts, an indoor soccer field and more. It's going to be constructed in two phases with a grand opening expected for the summer of 2024. The price tag sits roughly around $127 million. The park district also has a master plan for the reconstruction of the Island Park pool. Right now finishing up our construction documents so we'll bid that project in the spring of this next year. Uh, construction will start soon after that. There are many new features coming to the pool, which has been in the community for the last 45 years. This will cost around $17 million. For the Fargo Park Sports Complex, uh, the current split of that is approximately 75% um, public funds, 25% private funds. Exactly how much more each person will have to fork over in higher taxes depends on the value of your home. How that works is it's $4.50 per mill per $100,000 for your house. So Brock Leitz, the director of finance for the Parks District, says while taxes will increase, the projects will be worth it. So it's an investment in your community, an investment in the future and, and the growth of Fargo. In Fargo, Nishay Taylor, Valley News Live. The Fargo Parks District is also working on a master plan for revitalizing Yonker Farm and Lindenwood Park.